All right, tonight a new what they're calling not hotline, this time it's called a warm line, is up and running. So, what is a warm line? Well, it's a new initiative by the South Carolina Center of Excellence in Addiction to help medical practitioners get a second opinion quicker if their patients need one, especially if it comes to addiction. News 19's Shelly Garzone explains. We want people who need treatment to be able to get it when they need it in the way that they need it. Jody Manns is the director of South Carolina Center of Excellence in Addiction, which works to address the overdose fatality crisis in the state. If folks are sitting there with, you know, whether it's a primary care doc or maybe it's, it's a paramedic, whoever they're encountering in that moment, if that person can help them and can get them to the place that will make a difference in their ability to access treatment, that will that will open new doors for that patient. The Center of Excellence in Addiction has launched a new warm line available for medical practitioners in South Carolina. Doctors, nurses, social workers, peers, paramedics, kind of anybody who works in the substance use disorder space or medical space um, can call to do a peer-to-peer -peer consult with an experienced addiction medicine provider to ask questions about how to treat substance use disorder and opioid use disorder, how to get through you know, some of the components of, of uh, toxicology screenings, things like connecting people to services in the community. Dr. Alan Litwin is the co-director of the Clemson Center for Addiction and Mental Health Research, which is running the warm line. The real magic here is that it, it directly benefits patients in, in real time, right? Right, because uh, clinicians take care of patients, and uh, uh, if you um, uh, equip uh, uh, clinicians throughout the state with uh, state-of-the-art uh, knowledge, uh, then they're able to bring that knowledge to, and, and, and practice to patients. According to the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control, in 2021, over 2,000 people in the state died from a drug overdose. Dr. Whitman says this warm line will help tackle that issue. Treatment is works and treatment is life saving, right? And so we can directly um, uh, bend the curve here and start to uh, uh, decrease overdoses, um, both fatal and, and non fatal, and we can save lives. Shelly Garzone, News 19, WLTX. Well, that warm line will be available from Monday through Friday from 9 in the morning until 5 p.m. for all South Carolina medical practitioners that need to use it. And a new